Not every game on the schedule is a milestone game, but for Chris Ash and the Scarlet Knights, every game is a proving ground. And Chris Ash wanted to make a statement on this October Saturday in Champaign. And his football team did just that. Oh, it was awesome. Just being with the guys, you know, celebrating with the guys, as well with Coach Ash, you know, just something we've been waiting for, you know. I know we, we beat Morgan State, but at the same time, it was a Big Ten game for us, Big Ten win for us. You know, we're excited. Well protected, Rochino now throwing, and it's caught by Edwards. First down near the sideline across the 30. Time over the middle and a great strike to Grant inside the 40. It's, you know, it's incredible. Um, coach talked about we got to win the game up front, you know, this week, and I really think we did that. They really dominated up front, and I think that was huge for our success. Rochino hands it off, and again it's Blackshear. Blackshear inside the 10, the 5, touchdown Rutgers. A 19-yard touchdown run for Blackshear. The offensive line played an amazing game. They've been working very hard at practice. I don't they got what they deserve. They got the playoff just in time, and sure enough, Blackshear, he makes one man miss, and now here he goes. Blackshear inside the 30, brought down near the 20. Keen Blackshear, impressive on the few carries he's got. He's been explosive. Practice, practice well doing this week. Um, um, the emphasis this whole week was running the ball, and that the guys up front had to win the game for us. And I feel like they step up to the plate, and they did a great job on um, creating holes. They're trying to open up the defense to get the ball to Edwards. And here is Edwards off the right side, big hole into the end zone. Touchdown, Scarlet Knights. Was as challenged just all week, um, and, and last week, uh, well, the week, you know, the, the bye week, and uh, you know, I believe, you know, we we we, you know, rose to the occasion and, and uh, you know came through and um, you know handled business. Or the tailback, and he will carry it first down and more, and there's the dagger touchdown, Rutgers. Robert Martin touchdown. Robert Martin puts this one away. Great team speed. They, they might be a little bit light in the defensive backfield because of injuries to Saquon Hampton. Bless on Austin, who I think was one of the best corners in not much the country, but the Big Ten. But they have speed. You're not going to outflank this defense. You might be able to run right at them, but Rutgers has great team speed. Obviously, New Jersey, a state with unbelievable high school talent. Four to go until halftime. Illinois with the ball down 11. George pressured and he is brought down. Sebastian Joseph, our other impact player. I knew we were going to have to stop the run um, to be able to win the game. So for me to come down, a couple of them early, I was late. I was kind of counter back, but as I got a couple hits in, I was kind of going down there making tackles. George was high and intercepted. Was trying to find Dudek, but it's picked off. Down the sideline, Jawan Harris. Playing defense today, former wide receiver with the interception. So on third down and long, Rutgers bringing four. George in trouble, and down he goes. A sack back inside the 20-yard line. Second sack for Rutgers. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. 